okay, now that I have a Windows 7 OU for my, let's say, Windows 7 class, and I've got a user's OU in there, and I've got a computer's OU, then I can start adding, um, you know, different, uh, different users and computers to these OUs. So I'll start with a computer. So I'm going to uh, right-click on the computer OU, and I'll say new computer and I'm going to give it the computer name. It just so happens that this computer's name is image 2 dash PC and I went to over to my uh, Windows 7 client computer and I looked up the name of the PC and I'll say I'll click OK and now you can see inside of my computer's OU there is a computer created image to dash PC and then um, in the users area I can right click and say new user and I'll give them a name and I'll just do this a test so student last name um, student and user login name student and hit next and then I'm going to make the password never expire and um, the uh, user must change password to login I uncheck that password never expires now the first time I did this uh, it was not working because I put student in the password and you can't use your username in your password so that's why it wasn't working so I'm going to put a password here that's different so let's say um, this time let's see if we can use something really um, simple like password if we can get away with that so password with a capital P and then an at sign for the A and then SSW and then 0RD you never want to use this in a real as a real password okay ever because uh, people do it all the time capital P the at sign SSW 0 instead of a O R D and we'll hit next and finished and you'll see that it worked um, the reason we got locked out before was that um, we had the word student in the password and you can't have your username within your password so anyway we now have a um, user named student student and we have a computer that we've added and we're ready to connect our computer to our domain okay so just to cover this one more time when you create a new user um, like this right click new user right when you create a new user and I'll just do this really quick again test and then I'll put and I'll just skip down here test and hit next right and you're setting up your password you cannot use a password of just all lowercase letters you know I cannot put in um, hello right cannot put in hello and type in hello again right and hit next and and hit finish and it won't work why hello is five characters and I think the minimum password length is six characters right so if I put in hello 2000 right and hello 2000 and I hit well that that's not gonna work hello to thousand and I hit next and I hit finish that's not going to work because I've got hello which is lowercase letters and I've got 2000 which is numbers but I also need to have uppercase letters and I need a special character in there too like um, at least one special character like a um, pound sign an at sign a dollar sign an exclamation point a parentheses something like that I need a special character in there too so and one other thing I cannot put, um, and as you know, as I've mentioned it before, uh, you can't put your name into your password. So if your user is test, you can't have, you know, the password have test in it. So anyway, you have to have uppercase and lowercase letters, you have to have um, numbers, and you have to have special characters in your password, all right, for this to work.